Hi and welcome everybody. This is my video on how to go back to the stock ICS firmware. That's the Android 4.2.4 on your Galaxy Note. So what you need to do is just re doesn't matter whatever you are running. Just reboot into recovery. Now do a wipe data factory reset. Delete all user data. Now again wipe cat. Now go to advanced and do a wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, now that's done. Remove the battery from your phone. Remove the battery and again plug your battery and this time hold the volume down, power and the home keys at the same time. And let go the buttons once you see this. Okay, now connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable and, and now hit the up volume key to continue. Now what you need to do is download the Samsung keys and the PC Odin. So check the description I have given links to it. And download the link 1, link 2, the link 3 and the link 4. So once you have a Samsung keys and PC Odin installed on your computer, go through the link 1. You'll get this website. So you'll get a list of all ICS stock firmwares, the 4.0.3 and the 4.0.4 .4 as well. So download any of the 4.0.4. .4. Download any one of it. So once you have downloaded, so I have downloaded this N7000XXLRZ, and once you extract it, you get this .trmd5 file. Now what you need to do is open PC Odin. And now go to PDA and select the extracted folder of the link one. The MD5 file and hit open and hit start. Okay guys, so we are up here, so let me just skip the basic settings. So guys, now I'm running the official stock ICS firmware, the Android 4.0.4 and the XXLRG. So this is the ice, ice cream sandwich. So guys, I don't have my phone rooted and I don't have the clockwork mod installed on it. So to get it, Onto your mobile phone, go to menu, settings, and go to security, and just check unknown sources. So once you check the unknown sources, connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable, and turn on the mass storage, hit OK. So now copy the link 2, link 3, and the link 4, and transfer them onto the external SD. So once you are done with it, unplug your phone from the PC. Now hold the volume up, power and the home keys at the same time until you get the Galaxy Note displayed on the screen. Okay, let go the buttons. Okay, now apply update from it. Go to apply update from external SD. And now choose cmw.zip. 
click it okay so you get this now again install zip from SD card so two zip from internal SD this time so it kind of gets swapped the internal memory becomes the external and the external becomes the internal now choose the super user SU the super SU busybox installer that's the link 3 select it and hit yes install And now go back, hit reboot system now. Okay guys, so you can see that now I have rooted my phone, but I'm still lacking the clockwork mod. So to install the clockwork mod, get the mobile load in from the play store and just tap it, grant the super user permission and hit download let the download complete so once the download is complete go to kernel and navigate to wherever you have saved the link for that's the speed mode kernel select it and hit flash firmware continue so this will install the clockwork mode onto your galaxy note Okay, so now to check whether you have installed the clockwork mod or not, hold the volume up, power and the home keys at the same time. Let go the buttons once you see this. Okay, you can see that we have the clockwork mod installed on it. So that's all about the video guys on how to go back to the stock firmware and root and get the clockwork mod installed on it. So thanks a lot for watching, stay subscribed, bye bye now and have a good day.